Okay, hey guys, welcome to another episode of Dangarumpa, Hope to Cutting and Spare Students. I'm continuing directly off of from where we last left off, because I'm just too curious what Alter Ego does have to say. So let's see. Hey guys, you came. I told Togami earlier. Um, I finally finished decrypting the Academy's files left on the computer. Sorry for making you wait. Sorry. I thought that might be it. So the time has finally come. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous now, dude. He wasn't the one, the only one who was nervous. My hands, sitting on the keyboard, were shaking. You, out of the way. I relinquished my position to her. My head drooped, a slight frown on my face, feeling someone rejected. Yeah. All right, let's begin. Karagiri's fingers moved quickly around the keyboard, typing her message as fast as if she had spoken it. Would you please tell us what you've learned? Okay, I'll summarize the info I obtained from the decrypted files as best I can. From what I can tell, it looks like the Academy was in the process of carrying out a project. The project's objective was to isolate the students and have them live together inside Kibukuman Academy. And they weren't just planning to have the students live together for a short time. Depending on the circumstances, they could be made to spend their whole lives here. But that's the very same situation we find ourselves in. It's unbelievable, huh? What's more? Apparently, the project was formed by the Kibukuman Academy Administration Office. Huh? Hold on a second! So we weren't trapped in here by some criminal organization or psychopath, but by Kibukuman Academy itself? No way! The hell did they do that for? Alter Ego never said she, he was finished. L let's listen to the rest. An incident that occurred one year ago seems to be the reason the project was formed. The documents I found refer to this incident as Mankind's Most Despairingly Maleficent and Monstrous Malification. Mankind's Most Despairingly Maleficent and Monstrous Malification. Dude, that is hella overblown name! From what I've gathered, the, the malefaction was a pretty horrific and tragic incident. As a result of the malefaction, Kibukuman Academy, as an education institution, was forced to shut down. I see, so there's the link! One year ago, the so-called Mankind's Most... I'm not reading that again, occurred. Uh, forcing Kibukuman Academy to shut its doors. And then, the aforementioned project came into beginning, taking the school as a its backdrop, and using it to isolate high school students from the world and force them to live their lives together. But why did the Kibukuman Academy Administration Office want to trap us in here? Furthermore, what exactly was mankind's most despairingly maleficent and monstrous malification? How many times do I have to say this? Gary Gary wasted no time in typing out their questions. And Ultrigo's response was, I'm sorry, that's all I know. There isn't anything else here. Not anymore. So, I'm sorry I'm so useless. Just that... That's all there is? It just ends right in the middle? So it seems, unfortunately. W wait! I did discover one other thing. Something very, very important. Possibly regarding the Puppet Master. The Puppet Master? Kirigiri's fingers blazed across the keyboard faster than I've ever seen them move. Did you discover the Puppet Master's identity? Nope, I didn't figure out his identity, but I did find a lead. The Kibukumine Academy Administration Office formed the project to isolate us in here. And the head of the organization is the Headmaster. In short, there's a high probability that the Headmaster is the Puppet Master. Additionally, the Headmaster is a man in his late 30s. And it's, like, and it's likely he's inside the Academy. The Headmaster is inside the Academy? Okay, no doubt about it. He's gotta be the Puppet Master. Monokuma calls himself the Headmaster, too. Which draws even more suspicion on the contents of the Headmaster's office. But there's nothing we can do about that, dude. We're dead if we bust the door down. I will find him. Huh? I will find the Headmaster. No matter what. No matter what. What's wrong, Kirigiri? I, I get the feeling that I need to find him. She gets the feeling? I wonder what's gotten into her. She reacted pretty strongly when Alter Ego mentioned the Headmaster. Yeah. Let's see if Alter Ego has any more information for us. Jesus, having apparently pulled herself together, Kirigiri resumed typing. Is there anything else you can tell us? Sorry, that's all I know. The data on this laptop is pretty old, but I've gotten everything I can from it. I'm really, really sorry. So this is the true as truth end. Oh. Hold on, Alter Ego's trying to say something else. Uh, um, it's a little off topic, but I've got something I'd like to ask, too. Um, I haven't seen Celeste, Yamada, or, or Shimaru at all since yesterday. The whole room froze, silence filling the air. Save for the emotionless clicking from Kyogiri's fingers on the keyboard. All three are dead. Mm hmm? I see. I had considered the possibility. But it looks like it wasn't just a possibility. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no point in something like me 
getting depressed thinking about things I shouldn't. Anyway, now we're done. Now we're done? The true meaning of those words were expressed by the next message Kirigiri entered into the computer. Your job is done. Good work. My job is done? Yeah, I guess it is. Maybe I'll get a little rest. I am kind of tired. Bye, guys. See you later. Oh, that's depressing. The computer then automatically put itself into sleep mode. So hmm. So Alter Ego has served his purpose. Yeah. We shouldn't need to come in here and do this very often from now on. I feel kind of bad for him, though. You feel bad? Dude, it's just a program. Well, yeah, but... But he's worked so hard for us. Mm. Of course he's worked hard for us, dude. That's what that's what computer programs are for. Well, you uh, will you shut your computer down at night, Hina? Do you congratulate it on a job well done? Mm. Well, no. But talking with Alter Ego, it's like I don't know. It just feels the same. Does feel the same? Sorry. Okay, I get what you're trying to say, Asiana. Oi, oi. Come on, dudes. It's a program. What's good making friends with a program gonna do ya? Really though, how different are we from computer programs? Mm. Huh? I don't know. Like, what are the criteria for distinguishing between humans and programs? I mean, yeah, although he isn't human, he's definitely just a computer program. But does that really exclude him from being our friend? No way! We're definitely friends! <clears throat> Alright, I get what you guys are saying. I'm cool with that. We could call him our friend. The more friends you got, the better. Listen up. Friends are life's greatest treasure. Simply having friends will lighten your life's load. Never mind that. I got never minded? My possibly plagiarized inspirational message got never minded? In any event, there's nothing else Alter Ego can do. Ergo, his job is done. Am I wrong? Well, no, but... Also, I'm not sure how I feel about you throwing the word friend around so carelessly. No mercy. Let us not stray from the matter at hand. Shall we resume discussion on the information Alter Ego provided us? Yeah, dude, what's this Kibukaman Academy and Administration Office thing planning? And why are they making us kill each other? <laughs> he cited the incident that occurred one year ago, and the cause of everything. You mean mankind's most despairingly maleficent and monstrous malification? Uh, just from the sound of it, it was probably something pretty big. I'm trying to remember, was there anything really big that happened a year ago? I got nothing. Anyone else? <laughs> I don't watch the news. My apologies, but I can think of nothing. At the very least, given Kibukuman Academy had to shut down as a result of the incident, we can assume it involved the school in some way. Maybe it was like a mass murder of all the students or something. A tragedy of that scale would be all over the news. I cannot imagine no one here would, uh, would know about it. So maybe there was a cover-up. A cover-up explains why we didn't even know the school was shut down. Covering up the entire incident is not outside of the realm of possibility. The hell are our public officials doing, dude? They're taxing us out of the ass so they can at least try. Okay, regardless, at this point in time, there's only one thing we can do. Find the headmaster. We need... All we need to do is find the headmaster and have him tell us everything. I'm sure if we can just find the headmaster, I'm sure. Again, Kirigiri. Reacting strongly to the word headmaster. In any event, this is not a problem for which we are likely to find an answer immediately. Yeah, you've got a point. Anyway, let's get out of here. We finished our business. Yeah, dude, let's. I then I'll. And you're back to Chicago, huh? Is there dust in the air? Actually, no. Did you just stutter or sneeze? Uh, I should be waiting. I have to wait. If I don't wait, I'm sure I'll disappoint my white knight. We should probably just let her be. I'm down with that, dude. Yeah, because she is one crazy bitch. When we stepped out of the dressing room, there was a surprise waiting for us. My chest, pounding. Pounding! I'm so pissed off right now, I'm pounding my chest! You're still holding the grudge about the thing in the headmaster's office? That's got nothing to do with this! And well, I am jealous of you guys, steamy bath time adventures. That's not what I'm mad about. Steamy, steamy. I'm so pissed off right now. Steam's coming from my ears. Uh, I'll tell you. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll tell you about a great power spot. Just please don't be mad. Take a mental note, kids. I'm the kind of bear who gives his just desserts. And I fair anal. And I sorry. And to prefer and fall. I don't even know what that means. Uh, Excel, come back. Well, watch out! He cast a destruction fell, dudes! <laughs> I believe he said an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. Still, I wonder what that was all about. 
That's a good question. Oh, Betty by time. Boo hoo. I have made potential please. 10 a.m. My time's not effect. Give to yourself a little bit more Good night, sweet dreams. Blah blah blah. Here's no real message. It's already nighttime. What do you all want to do? Celeste proposed the curfew, but she's gone. I think we should keep it going. I'd feel safer without people wandering around at night. Same here, dude. All right, then that's what we'll do. We're all done for the night. And with that, we all return to our rooms with a strange, lingering sense of discomfort from the words Monokuma left with us. Yes, the whole eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth nonsense. Alone in my room, my man began, my man began wandering, going over the information we learned from Alter Ego again and again and again. The Kibukumon Academy Administration Office, the organization responsible for putting us here. Mankind's most despairingly maleficent and monstrous malification, the instance that drove them in, th th drove them to it, and the headmaster. The man who could very well be the poet master. I've got more questions than answers, but as long as it might take, I've got no choice but to keep pushing forward, to keep looking for even the smallest of answers. Not again. I'm tired of this Monokuma theater shit. He's got too many items here. Look at this stuff. Okay, let me tell you a little tale from before I became a bear. At first, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure what I should become. The lady at the support center recommended a prawn. She said it was the finest idea the company had conceived in all its many years. That is a very special offer. But as I listened to her bitch, it dawned on me. She wasn't talking about a tiger prawn. She was talking about a soccer a shrimp. They're tiny. They'd be the world's smallest mascot. Eating them's one thing, but I didn't want to become a prawn. One thing would step and I'd be done for. One wrong step, sorry. The lady at the support center chorted and I said, I'm sorry, sir, but on your budget, a tiger shrimp is out of the question. So in the end, I chose to become a bear. And thus, Monokuma was born. What the fuck is wrong? Was he a human being? Is this like a Chucky situation? I'm guessing it's like a Chucky situation. I don't know. Good morning, rise and shine, it's my day best can be. Blah, 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 blah. First things first, to the cafeteria, I go. Because we can do nothing else but go to the cafeteria, and we're going to meet the same people, we're going to do nothing but do have the same conversations, eat the same goddamn breakfast, and ugh. With Celeste gone, it's kind of even more boring in the hair. If Togami's here, I'll freak. Fukawa's here, though. The first thing I saw when I hit the cafeteria was her. What? What are you looking at? Uh, Fukawa, are you saying the very sight of me is causing your eyes to rot? Then don't look at me. Yeah. Nags is just surprised it's just that you showed up to our little breakfast assembly. It was, has indeed been some time since you joined us, Fukawa. Did you have a change of heart? My white knight said he prefers his girls chunky, so I... I'm here to eat. I'll force it down if I have to. I'll eat until I drop. You're on. You should really not. By the way, I noticed Kiyagiri isn't here. She said she'd be... She'd be by later, dude. Later? After you left, Negs. Uh, she's being completely open about her contempt for me now. I may have said you have to make the first move with a girl like her, but I didn't mean it like that. You're sick, nigga. guy. sick. You're the Charles Barkley of sick. Uh, that, that's not what happened. You're the kind of guy who doesn't care about the romance, aren't you, Nagai? Uh, again, that's not what happened. Give it a rest already, Asiana. It's way too early to have your mind in the gutter. My mind is in the gutter? It's true. That's why I said it. But my mind... It's not in the gutter. Deny it all you want. You're still a filthy, dirty woman. Trust me, I can tell. S stop it. Night after night, you take the irresistib that irresistible body of yours and put it to work doing forbidden of the book extracurricular activities. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not talking dirty, seriously. I can't handle that. Late night private lessons where you break all the rules. S stop it. Stop it. Well, stop, stop, you say, as your hand glistening with sweat grips your thick, his thick chop. What's going on here? The lessons continue. The chalkboard, with its deep black cluster, uh, creaks as you let out a heavy sigh. And then, and then... Uh, wow, this is incredible. Salacious scenes are rushing by, one after another. Okay, which side of your face do you prefer I knocked off your shoulders? The left or the right? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ig ignoring Kawa, 
whose unfulfilled desire seems to have driven her off the deep end. Bobby. Next, you and Kiri had best makeup, dude. Yeah, I know. Obviously, I'd like to do so right now if I could, but the whole reason for this is because I couldn't tell her what I saw. So the first step is talking to Ogami. Can I, like, take you out of here and talk to you? Hey, hey, um, Ogami. What is it? Do you have some time later? I'd like to talk to you about something. Ugh. And now he's hitting on Sakura just because Kigiri turned him down. Does it does it not matter as long as it's a whole Nagai? Is it mating season? W well, you are a teenage boy. That's offensive. Watch out, Sakura. Nagai's turned into a monster. He's become the, Sh the Shaquille O'Neal of monsters. Okay, whoa! Why did you mention Shaquille O'Neal in this game? He's a basketball player! Ah, oh, fuck it, I give up. Okay. Why would you assume that's what I'm doing? No. Can I wait till until can I wait till tomorrow, my guy? I would like to spend the night, the day, resting in my room. Mm. These past few days, my body has not been in the best shape. Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Oh. It's nothing considerable. My joints simply ache slightly. Wait, could that be because of her battle with Monokuma? <laughs> but you almost never need to rest, Sakura. Are you sure you okay? Oh. I should be fine if I take some protein and lie down for a short time. Uh, uh. Protein will help with anything. Oh, yeah. never, you can never miss a chance to worship at the altar of protein, huh, dudes? Yeah. guy, I don't know what you wanted to talk about, but hold off till tomorrow. Sakura's in pain. Uh, Alright, sure. My apologies. Sorry. Well then, let's dig in, dudes. <laughs> for breakfast, I've got butterflies. Huh? Why are you nervous? I, I can't help it. I'm not used to eating in front of people. I I've always eaten alone, ever since I was a child. What about your family? They're there. I live with my dad and my mom and... My mom? Mom and mom? Two moms? We have... Circumstances. Seri- Sounds serious, dude. Just leave her alone. Nothing good can come from involving yourself with Fukawa. She says, with a ma mouth so dirty, it's in need of a good washing. So stop it! Um, well, I'll go ahead and eat first. If I don't, Kirigiri won't be able to drop by. I feel for you, dude. <laughs> I woofed down my breakfast, left the cafeteria ahead of everyone else, and headed from my room. Time to hang out with some people. Free time. Yep. Just talked to God about that. To be honest, I'm kind of relieved. It's gonna take some serious willpower to question Ogami face to face. We get some free time to hang out with some bitches. Where are the bitches? That's the good question. Well, first, I think I'll go to the old slot machine, get some presents, hang out with the first person I see. I don't care who it is. So I just want to get this free time crap done. Okay, would you like to try your hand? Let's give it a shot! Put in two medals. What again? I don't know what that is. It looks like a onesie. Okay. Let's put in three, because my miss rate is going quite high. Awesome! Another friendship bracelet. I'll put in six medals, I guess. Went a lot higher than I wanted. That looks like a radio pill. Three medals. Another one. Um, what else? Some more balloon trousers? I'll get one more item. It looks weird, but okay. Um, it was probably... It was probably the time I hit it. So the Monokuma slots is kind of fucked up and weird. Gotta go find somebody to hang out with. I'd like to hang out with Kirigiri, but I don't think I'm able to hang out with her. I'm gonna go up another floor. Probably not gonna find anybody. Rec room. Oh, Celeste was always in the rec room. Maybe Hakakure? Nobody. I miss Celeste. That's gonna be a... To be able to, I'm gonna miss her. You know what? I'm gonna head up to the fourth floor. This most more than likely, 
someone hanging out up there. Where the hell is it? Oh, no, never mind. I was going the right way to go to the fourth floor. Okay. Over and up. There's gotta be more than likely someone up here. Yep, hug a curry. I'll hang out with you. Ooh. What's up, Nags? You need something, dude? Don't tell me you, you're here to kill me. Let me slide. Dude, please, think of my future kids. If you're gonna kill someone, do someone else in, man. Hmm, should I hang with Hakakuri while he's freaking out like this? No, Let's heat this conversation up, dude. What do you know about cosmonology? Cosmology is probably what it was. I said to Hakakuri is one side of rant about cosmo cosmogony. Oh. That's off. Hakakuri and I bonded a little. Would you like to give him a present? Yeah, but I don't know what to give him. Um... Sodium chloride? Eternal friendship bracelet. Oh, he liked it. If I took this to a pawn shop, how much do you think I could get? I look forward to finding out, dude. He seems to have liked it a bit. Yo, next, how's it going, future brother? Looking forward to your days raising kids together? Er, enough with that, please. Oh, you want me to tell you your fortune again? No. How do you even do that anyway, tell fortunes? I didn't look at my palm. If you didn't look at my palm, or crystal ball, or anything last time. Mm. Oh ho, so you're familiar with the tools of our trade. You know a lot more about fortune telling than you uh, expected, Negs. You don't need to know much to- Oh, you don't need to know much to know about crystal balls and stuff. Ooh. In that case, I'll give you a discount on your next fortune, if you can tell me what I'm describing. Uh, no thanks. I- There's a type of divination performed using a deck of cards. Most common variations use the 22 cards, but known as the Major Arcana, but the, full, but the full deck has another 56 cards, known as the Minor Arcana. The type of divination that uses the deck of cards have to do the Major and Minor Arcana. Let's see. Tarot. I heard of that. You're talking about Tarot, right? Oh, you got it, dude! As a reward, I'll tell you your fortune for 60 thou. Will you really? Not that I'll take it. Take you up on it. I already said I was done. Ah, I see. Well... Hit me up if you ever have a change of heart. Anyway, back to my previous question. How do you make your predictions without a crystal ball or anything? Now, don't get the wrong idea, dude. I'm perfectly capable of using standard techniques. I even know numerology. Numerology? Ooh. It's a way of determining one's fortune using calculations performed on things like their name and or birthday. But you didn't use either of that, did you? Mm. I had a revolution. Revelation. I am an imagined a rose in my mind as the result of the mechanisms of some unknown power. Isn't that more like a hunch? Don't try to downplay what I do by calling it a hunch. If that, if not that, then you must have some kind of supernatural power. I didn't do any of that supernatural crap. You want to talk about that? Go do it somewhere else. Supernatural crap, huh? Oh yeah, next. I got a great deal for you. Get your fortune told now, and I'll give you a special bonus. It's a CD containing records of messages from the gods dwelling in the highest kingdom of heaven, dude. Compiled by a practitioner of white magic. Listening will allow you to have supernatural experiences at will. And you say supernatural stuff is crap. Business and pleasure are two separate beasts. The more I try, the less I can keep up with him. Uh, report card updated. Congratulations, you earned a skill point. Yay. After turning down his sales pitch, I went back to my room for a little bit. I could hang out with somebody else, because I get more free time, don't I? Yep, still got some time left. I don't really feel like hanging out here, so I don't really feel like hanging out here. I should find somewhere to go. Well, we'll go hang out with someone else. I guess. You! God, well, let's hang out with you. Oh, damn it, it's genocider! Not again. What's this? Do you want to do it with me? Yeah, you should risk it. You want, you want me to do you? Uh, you're not even hot enough to make a blip on my radar. You are messed up. Okay, I had the precious experience of hanging out with a homicidal maniac. I wouldn't call it precious, but Genocider and I bonded or something. I would you like to give Genocider a present? Sure. Well, I don't know what she wants. I'll ignore that HP assistant crap. I gotta get rid of that. Hold on. I'll give her the sodium chloride just because I don't like her. She likes it? Why can't I get rid of this? There we go. Okay. What's this? It's fabulous. With pleasure. She seems to have liked it a bit. Heh. Heh heh. Heh. Ooh. Heh heh heh. Nighttime. Ding dong. 
ding down. That very familiar dinging. Fuck, it's annoying. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Urgent. Please assemble in the gymnasium. Urgent, 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 urgent. We're being called to the gym. And I guess we'll have to find out why we're being called to the gym in the next episode. So please, comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you like this episode. Tell me what you think Monica was going to do with us in the gymnasium. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Until then, guys.